Police say she was the driver that took four people to a Danville Domino's pizza store in which a store clerk was robbed and then shot. Today, she admitted her guilt. The tributes continue for Kentucky State Senator and civil rights icon Georgia Powers. The investigation continues into the fire at the Bluegrass Stockyards. This is WQIT News at 5.30. Good evening. One of the suspects in a violent robbery two years ago now admits she played a role in that crime. Police say that Robin Adams was with three people in September of 2014. And police say the four robbed a Danville Domino's where a clerk was shot and seriously hurt. Adams was accused of driving the getaway car. As part of her plea, she'll testify against the three other people charged. WKYT's Phil Pendleton was in the courtroom today with more in our top story at 530. Record reflect for a session. Today's date is February the 4th, 2016. It has been about a year and a half since store clerk Zoe Reed was robbed at the Danville Domino's Pizza, but she was also shot and seriously injured. She is doing as well as can be expected for someone that, that received the injuries, you know, to the extent she received extremely severe injuries, but she's doing well. Police arrested four people, Rico Penix, Patrick Brand, a teenager who was 16 then, and Robin Adams, described by authorities as the driver. After the shooting occurred and the robbery occurred, uh, she was the driver of a vehicle uh, that uh, at least aided uh, their escape to some extent. I'll go ahead and enter the plea of guilty. She pleaded guilty, though, today to an amended charge of facilitation to commit robbery and assault. Have you talked this over with your family? They know what you're doing and what you're, what's going on here at this point. What, what do they think about you entering this kind of a guilty plea? Both charges carry a recommended total sentence of five years. She could also testify against the others. Obviously, we do appreciate her cooperation and what she's done uh, and her assistance. I don't believe it's critical, but it is important. Adams will receive her final sentence in April in Boyle County, Phil Pendleton, WKYT. The prosecutor says there could be plea deals worked out in the other cases. If not, he expects trial dates could be set within two months. Police in McCreary County have arrested a man after they say he tried to kidnap a woman in a parking lot. The victim told police that she was approached by 54-year-old Dwayne Chambers, who tried to pull her into his vehicle. Police say she fought back and was able to get back in her own car and drive away. Police arrested Chambers before he could leave the area. He's been charged with sexual abuse and unlawful imprisonment. Police in Louisville have arrested a man in connection with a deadly shooting there this morning. Police say that James Spaulding shot and killed a clerk at a liquor store near U of L's campus. Store employees say Spaulding came into the store with a gun and appeared to be mentally ill. After the shooting, neighbors say Spaulding ran throughout the area yelling, Help me, and firing shots into a nearby house. City officials have been at the Bluegrass Stockyard since Sunday trying to determine what caused the biggest fire in Lexington in 30 years. More than 100 firefighters were on scene in Lexington to control that fire, which destroyed not only the largest stockyards east of the Mississippi, but several neighboring businesses as well. Today, Lexington's fire battalion chief says investigators hope to have a cause for the fire by the middle of next week. A public goodbye today in the state capitol to a woman known as a trailblazer in Frankfurt. Georgia Davis Powers was the first woman and first African American elected to the state Senate. She died last Saturday at the age of 92. Our Jennifer Palumbo is at the live desk now with more on Powers' visitation. Jennifer? Amber, this afternoon, Kentucky's top political leaders paid tribute to Georgia Davis Powers in the state capitol rotunda, where her body lay in state. It's a fitting location because it's where she served as a senator for more than two decades in a groundbreaking political career. Governor Matt Bevin and other statewide constitutional officers and lawmakers attended the memorial service. Bevin says powers will be remembered for breaking down barriers to advance the cause of civil rights. The service had music, prayers, and tributes. PG Peoples is the president and CEO of the Urban League of Lexington. As a legislator and as a person who cared about people, who worked hard every day to try to make life better for those folks who were less fortunate. 
Powers was first elected to the state Senate in 1967. She took office in 1968 and served for 21 years. The governor directed that flags at all state office buildings be lowered to half staff through sundown in honor of Powers. Her visitation is from 6 to 9 tonight at St. Stephen Church in Louisville. At the live desk, Jennifer Palumbo, WKYT. Jennifer, thank you. Powers' funeral will be tomorrow morning at 11 at St. Stephen Church. She'll be buried at Cave Hill Cemetery in Louisville. University of Kentucky President Eli Capilouto has formed a committee to recommend a long-term resolution for a controversial mural on campus. That mural in Memorial Hall shows the history of Lexington, but some find the depictions of African Americans offensive. UK covered it up after officials met with concerned students back in November. Capilouto has said that the piece will continue to be displayed, but the question is how and in what context going forward. Well, the next uh, few days may feel closer to spring than winter, uh, warming up some here in the bluegrass. Yeah, WKYT Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey is here now with an early check of your forecast. Chris? Yeah, let's call it seasonal over the next couple of days. Then we get ready for that big blast of wintertime that rolls into town into the first part of next week. You know, this afternoon we've been on sun patrol. Why are we on sun patrol? Well, you step outside today. You know how cloudy, kind of gloomy it is across the region. So we're trying to find some breaks in the clouds, getting in the parts of central Kentucky now. Noticing some breaks on our Frankfurt cam and our Lexington live cam way there in the distance. Starting to see at least a hint of sunshine. Mountain Parkway cam, London, yeah, not so fast. Temperatures in the 30s, a lot of overcast on your Defender radar network showing up across eastern Kentucky, though the clouds versus sun line is just to the west of the Lexington Metro as of now and it is eastbound and down. Little snowflake action still clinging to parts of northeastern Kentucky but the air to our west is what we're going to get in on for the next couple of days with mainly clear skies. Cold spot across the area now. Mount Sterling up to Maysville 32 degrees, 34 Lexington, Richmond, Danville and Somerset. We've been just a smidge warmer far southeastern Kentucky with upper 30s. Winds into the mix makes it feel like we're down into the low and mid 20s. Here's what we're working on. Weather headlines, nice looking Super Bowl weekend, then winter fights back in as we go into Monday of next week. We go into a prolonged period of snow showers and snow squalls across our entire region. Coming up in a few minutes, I'll show you why that pattern, guys, may put some snow on the ground. Kentucky State Police say more than 1,000 gallons of diesel fuel has been stolen in the past week. Our county by county coverage at 5:30 begins in Harlan County. Police say the first two thefts happened at the FAA's radar tower located on the Kentucky-Virginia line on Black Mountain, worth nearly $2,300. The third report of stolen gas was from Forest Products Incorporated in the lunch community of Harlan County, along with two-way and CB radios and various hand tools worth about $1,500. Police believe all three thefts are related and is asking anyone for any information to contact them. In Perry County, officials are moving forward with plans to tear down most of a historic building that caught fire last year. The old Grand Hotel building burned September 1st, destroying apartments and businesses along Main Street in Hazard. Officials are calling this a partial demolition. Everything but the bottom two floors will be knocked down. They expect to be done in as little as two and a half weeks if weather permits. I feel that the public has been more than patient, and um, I hope everybody thinks that we're doing the right thing. We've gone through our legal channels, uh, uh, state building uh, codes, and we're doing it the right way. Well, the city is still at odds with the owner of the building, Brian Carter, who has filed a lawsuit against the city, says he wanted to demolish the building himself with his own construction company. And in Union County, a man has been charged with the murder of a juvenile. Police say Stephen Freeman of Morganfield was driving last night when he hit a bicyclist on Highway 2091. The juvenile was flown to St. Mary's Hospital where he died from his injuries. Freeman was arrested and charged with murder and taken to the Union County Detention Center. The Urban County Council in Lexington is made up of 12 district council members and three at-large members. The at-large member with the most votes in the last general election also serves as vice mayor. 
Ronald of Lexington has our good question tonight. He's asking, how many jobs can an urban county council member have besides this government job? And what is the process to impeach a council member? For answers, I went to Mayor Gray's communications director, Susan Straub. She says there is no limit to the number of jobs a council member can have. Officially, council members, that is a part-time job. She says there is nothing also in our charter or ordinances about removing or impeaching council members. As a side note, I asked how much council members make. She says this year's salary is just over $31,000. Again, that's for the council member. The vice mayor makes $34,000. Again, they're considered to be part-time jobs. Ronald, thank you for that good question. To submit a good question, send an email to goodquestion at wkyt.com. Still ahead on WKYT News at 5.30, how the Lexington Humane Society is getting into the Valentine's Day spirit. I'm Bill Bryant. Kentucky remembers a former U.S. Senator who has died. And the current Senate race could get interesting with Rand Paul and Jim Gray now sizing each other up. The bottom line is ahead. For all your hearth and grill needs, shop BarnhillChimney.com. This President's Day, it's all about choices at the Burke Furniture President's Day Sale. Get the special order bedroom you want in 21 days with Vaughn Bassett Furniture. That's incredible! It's all at the Burke Furniture President's Day Sale. Going on now. After you're injured at work, a lot of times the insurance company will attempt to call you, take statements. Don't speak to them until you speak with an experienced workers' compensation attorney. The insurance company will attempt to settle your case for pennies on the dollar. Before you talk to the insurance company, call us first. Our job is to make sure you get all the money you deserve. Call Morgan, Collins, and Yeast. 1-800-55-WILDCAT. Everyone wants to be energy smart, but sometimes we need a little reminder. With Simple Saver, you save energy and the environment, and you earn energy bill credits. So take the hint. Just call or sign up online and we'll do all the work. Simple saver, because being energy smart pays. Licking Valley RECC and South Kentucky RECC, your Touchstone Energy Cooperatives. the best boat your money can buy? Check out Tracker, Nitro, Sun Tracker, and Tahoe boats. Backed by the best factory warranties in the business. And Tracker is holding the line on pricing. Most 2016 boats are at or below last year's prices. Like the 2016 Tracker Pro Team 190 TX for $1,100 below the 2014 price. 2016 boats at 2015 prices. At the Bass Pro Shops Tracker Boating Center in Corbin. This President's Day, it's all about choices at the Burke Furniture President's Day Sale. Get the special order bedroom you want in 21 days with Vaughn Bassett Furniture. That's incredible! It's all at the Burke Furniture President's Day Sale. Going on now. Keep up with the latest news on WKYT.com. Join the conversation on Twitter and become a part of the WKYT Facebook family. In a move that will create 42 jobs with an investment of nearly $6 million, Governor Bevan announced today a subsidiary of Toyo Tire and Rubber will open in Simpson County and supply its parent company with stamped and welded components. The company will lease 45,000 square feet in the newly expanded factory in Franklin, an arrangement expected to save time and expense. The Kentucky Economic Development Finance Authority preliminary approved the company for tax incentives up to $360,000 through the Kentucky Business Investment Program. Senator Rand Paul's decision to drop out of this year's presidential race means that Kentucky's Senate race will be one to watch. Bill Bryant has more in today's bottom line. 
Good evening. U.S. Senator Rand Paul's decision to drop out of the presidential race means he can now turn his full attention to his re-election effort here in Kentucky. Paul acknowledges that in an interview with me for this weekend's edition of Kentucky Newsmakers. After months of a grueling nationwide schedule at events all around the country, Paul is turning his attention to home. I am excited to spend more time at home. Uh, I will enjoy being able to mow my grass a little bit more and uh, tinker around in the yard. Also, will enjoy uh, spending more time, uh, you know, one on one with people. The full interview with Senator Paul runs on Kentucky Newsmakers. Its first airing is Sunday morning at 6 on WKYT. You can set your DVR or be up early to watch. And it repeats Sunday at 10 a.m. on the CW Lexington. Lexington Mayor Jim Gray is running for the Democratic Senate nomination in a crowded primary. Most observers consider Gray to be the Democratic front runner. Now, he is pouncing on Paul, saying in a news release that Paul's presidential campaign ended in shambles. Some National Democrats say Paul's national emphasis damaged him here in Kentucky. Former Kentucky U.S. Senator Marlo Cook has died. After serving as Jefferson County Judge, he was narrowly defeated in the 1967 GOP primary for governor by Louis Nunn. Cook was then elected to a single term in the U.S. Senate in 1968. He was defeated for re-election in 1974 by Democrat Wendell Ford. Cook was the first Catholic to win a statewide election in Kentucky and he leaned more liberal than most modern-day Republicans. In fact, he criticized Senator Mitch McConnell for opposing Obamacare. Marlo Cook was 89. Bill Bryant, WKYT. Okay, perhaps you're looking for a unique and a furry gift for the one you love this Valentine's Day. A cuddle gram from the Lexington Humane Society might be just what you need. For a $150 donation, you can send that special someone a lovable bundle of fluff for a 30-minute cuddle session. You can choose a puppy or a kitten. Humane Society employees hope the gifts will help bring joy this holiday and maybe help find some homes for some of the furry friends. Well, we always want to make sure that we do everything we can for the animals and raise money in other in different fun ways for the animals here at Lexington Humane Society. And we really thought that this would be something very different and something that um, for the person who has everything, uh, something for them to kind of remember. It's a very unique gift. The gift includes a Valentine's Day card, a box of chocolates, or a piece of Have a Heart jewelry. For more information on how to order your Cuddlegram, visit our website at WKYT.com. When you think of romantic places, Lexington is usually not the first place probably that comes to mind. But according to a new ranking by online restaurant site Open Table, Lexington is one of the most romantic cities in America. Lexington just barely made the list at 24 out of 25, beating Columbus, Ohio. Virginia Virginia Beach nabbed the top spot as most romantic city in the country, while Newport, Rhode Island and Milwaukee were two and three respectively. Louisville also made the list at number 18. Now, your hour-by-hour -hour forecast with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey. Well, for those winter weather lovers out there, we've got you covered with some uh, Arctic cold and snow chances getting ready to creep back into our weather picture. Between now and that happening, though, we give you a nice Super Bowl weekend. Let's jump into it. Let's break it all down for you. Fairly busy pattern. Good looking sky in Lexington. Why is it good looking when I see a lot of clouds? Because I can actually see a break or two showing up on that western horizon. That bodes well for your Friday forecast. 34 degrees right now. Winds making it feel colder than that. Feels like it is 28 degrees right now. Lexington feels like 27 on top of Boyle County. Good folks here into Danville. 24 in Mount Sterling. We're the cold spot across the entire region. Actual temperature is at 32 and even freezing. Mount Sterling, Maysville with clear skies coming on into town now. Slowly but surely, west to east. Numbers will drop quickly below freezing and then through the 20s as we go into the overnight. 24 hour temperature change. It's 27 degrees colder in the Jackson, 21 degrees colder than at the same point yesterday. For the Lexington area. How do we look as we roll ahead into Friday? Friday just rolls off the tongue. 22 in the morning, 35 around your midday uh, hour, lunchtime, noon, into the afternoon now. 4 or 5 o'clock, we're low 40s, partly sunny skies, a little bit of a breeze in the air. Who cares? It's Friday and we got a little sunshine out there. So find the sunglasses again. Defender radar network, it's calm, it's quiet for now, though the back edge of the clouds zipping on out of town. Look what's replacing that. 
nothing showing up Owensboro, Paducah, uh, the Bowling Green area. We can trace the nothing all the way back into the Plain States. That's what you get for the coming weekend. Early next week, you know what else you're going to get? A little cold, a little snow coming at us in waves as a couple of big storm systems crank up across the eastern seaboard. We will see moisture that continues to just come at us with a big upper level low on top of us. Great Lakes are unfrozen right now, and the waters are pretty warm. You put cold air over top of the Great Lakes, it picks up moisture, deposits that downstream. We're going to be downstream of that. That means rounds of some snow that could add up to a couple or even several inches over a three or four day span. This isn't a storm that's going to drop everything at once. It's going to be one, two, three, maybe even four days of on and off snow showers and squalls as temperatures continue to lower. I suspect we will have some snow days thrown in there for good measure by especially Tuesday and Wednesday. I am constantly changing the temperature in the house. I probably shouldn't do that, uh -huh. but we've been on such a roller coaster, you never know what's going right. on. You needed the AC a few days ago. Next yeah. week, another need another log on the fire. <laughs> Crazy. Huh? Yeah, it's Thanks. wild stuff. Thanks, Chris. Live look at Lexington and rush hour traffic, and as far as collisions go, there's one working right now on Richmond and Shriners. Police on the scene there with outbound Richmond Road, the uh, right lane blocked at this moment. Uh, and in Madison County, they're still clearing the crash uh, at Lancaster, the bypass. Uh, police are still doing a work around in that area in, uh, in Richmond. Drive times uh, not impacted uh, toward Winchester, 64, normal, headed toward Clark County, St. Bill 75, toward Georgetown and Scott County. Now back to the studio. Coach Cal's cats still have two more days before they return to the court. That bad taste in their mouth from Tennessee. Cal wasn't the only one upset Tuesday. And the cats recruiting class ranking near the bottom of the SEC. What is Mark Stoops' reaction to that? Sports is next. CBS Tonight. This mom has a whole lot of exes. Is there an AA meeting in Northern California where you haven't slept with someone? Rosie O'Donnell is one of them. I'm not really into women. You could have fooled me. Are things heating up again? No more food. I'm going to have to take my pants off. Now you see how it happens. A new mom. Then some guardian angels are here to serve. <laughs> and some simply observe. That body. Getting a little pervy there. <laughs> That's coming from me. New Angel from Hell right after a new mom. CBS Tonight. Flaky fish from Alaska? Sweet buns from Hawaii? Nice going, new states. Welcome to the union. Arby's, we have the meat. Medical malpractice is the third leading cause of death in America. And more shocking is that the same doctors commit the same malpractice over and over again. Birth defects, brain damage, cerebral palsy, cancer misdiagnosis, and yes, even death. Doctors and hospitals have insurance to protect you when mistakes are made. Don't wait to pursue your claim. Time can run out. A lifetime is a long time. Morgan & Morgan, for the people. Oh, smell that air. Yeah. This feels good. Really good. Yeah. Oh, God. Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I gotta stop. Why? I gotta get home and wait for the cable company. Okay, but we just left your house. Oh, my gosh. Great workout. No, no, this is your house. We at Time Warner so Cable good. need to apologize to you. We no longer offer an excuse to get out of your morning run. We're making a bunch of changes at Time Warner Cable. Now you can choose a one-hour arrival window, and our new tech tracker feature will alert you with a text or email with your technician's name and photo when we're on the way. Now at Haverty's Furniture, it's our annual President's Day sale, which means it's the perfect time to create the perfect home. Now through February 15th, everything in our store is on sale. Plus, we're offering 36-month no-interest financing. Come in today for our best prices of the year. With Haverty's, your home can be perfect even when life isn't. We're early. The President's Day sale, from classic to contemporary. Haverty's. Hey guys, this February, give her the gift she's really gonna love. Endless Prime Rib, baby! Premium weekends at Golden Corral are here. Live it up with Prime Rib, Shrimp, Salmon, and more. Just $13.99, only at Golden Corral. If you step into my classroom and you're looking for learning, you're gonna see it in a variety of ways. You can feel the energy that's in the classroom. Look at the students. They're engaged, they're excited. They're motivated. You can see that. They know their teacher cares about them, their teacher knows them, and their teacher is willing to do everything it takes to make sure that they are able to succeed. All students are taking part, and all students will have an understanding of what's going on. Because that's what learning looks like. 
Considering bankruptcy? Call Atkinson, Sims, and Kermode. Start your bankruptcy for only $78 now. Dial 859. Call Ask for your free consultation. Get WKYT news and weather updates on Mix 94.5. Mark Stoops says he has his best recruiting class yet, but as you know, the SEC is really tough. Most of the recruiting services rank Kentucky's class 12th or 11th in the conference. Now, that doesn't bother Stoops. Yesterday, he was obviously really happy with the group, and by putting together good classes in consecutive years, he believes he's narrowing the gap with other teams. Take a good look around at our league and, and what we do, and we feel very good about this class. And and again, take a look around where we stand. Now, the good thing is, is, you know, wherever your slot us, 9, 10, or whatever in the SEC, it's a lot closer than being way off. You know what I mean? The balance is getting closer. The Cats' first meeting of the season with Florida comes up Saturday afternoon in Rupp, and John Calipari's team is coming off a stunning loss. Letting a 21-point lead at Tennessee get away is hard to get out of your mind. Cal talked again about his team just not making winning plays. Cal was uh, upset with his team, blowing the lead, and so is his point guard, Tyler Eulis. Well, he was just upset because they kept breaking down, like losing plays. Why would you do that? Why did you do, how did you lose him? How did you, oh, and they, and they, they, they kind of talk like my son, Brad. Cats are back at Rupp Saturday. They face Florida at 4 o'clock. You can see it live right here on WKYT, followed by Cal's comments in Wildcat Wrap-Up. Tonight in Georgetown, an NAI top five matchup when fourth-ranked Pikeville comes to face the homestanding second-ranked Tigers. Both are 19-2 and two on the season. Both have been ranked number one this season. Hugh Pike has not defeated Georgetown in Davis Reed Gym in more than a decade. Now, both have won national championships in the last five seasons, and it is arguably the best NAI rivalry in the country. We just have a fun, friendly, heated rivalry, and uh, you know I, I love it because you know people people that I know down there they say oh we'll, we'll be there when you play Pikeville, and people you know people in Lexington when do you play Pikeville, and you know it's such an entertaining game when when that you know that game comes around twice a year, and then, and then usually a third time in a year in a conference tournament. UK will unveil new Nike uniforms tomorrow morning for both football and basketball. Now, the basketball uniform will likely be just for one game. The football uniforms could be permanent. Stay with us. We'll be right back.